Hey guys, it's Lee, and today I am back with another Timu haul for you. This Timu haul is all about bags and shoes. But one important thing to let you know is, for me, bags and shoes are all about comfort. So this is not going to be like fancy shoes and bags. This is going to be fun stuff because that's what I'm into. Before I get started, I do need to let you know that this video is sponsored by Timu and they did send these products to me for free in exchange for this video. If you haven't heard of Timu, I'm pretty sure everyone has by now, but Timu is an online marketplace that offers so many products in so many categories. They have bags and shoes and clothes and pet supplies and kitchen items, outdoor items, camping items, you name it, they have it and at an affordable price. They currently have their Mother's Day sale going right now where you can get up to 90% off. Also, I have a coupon code which I will leave across the screen right now and down in the description box and in a pinned comment so you can easily find it. And if you use that code, you can get 30% off your first order with Timu. So let me go ahead and start showing you what I picked out. So the first products I picked out are these compression lightweight compression packing cubes. I got three of them. My daughter, her friend, and I are all going, well, my daughter and her friend, let me start over. My daughter's friend and I are going over to Ireland. We are then going to be going to Edinburgh and then to London. And we only want to take one bag with us. So I bought us each one of these packing cubes to put our essentials in. We're only going to be there for a few days. And that way we can put pack our stuff in these bags and then put them into a suitcase. Now, I'm pretty sure the girls can fit all their stuff in their bags, but I'm gonna need more space. Anyway, let me show you. I got them in blue, pink, and black. The pink one is mine. The girls can decide who gets what when it comes to the blue and black. I'm gonna open this one, whoops. Let me try that again. I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> and I did not realize, which is really nice, is they are expandable so that we can fit more in. So maybe I can use this. I don't know, we'll see. We're not taking much with us is what I'm trying to say. So I got this blue one, pink and black. I'm looking forward to that trip. We're leaving in June and I can't wait. So I picked these up for us. The next I got this backpack that is an anti-theft waterproof backpack. So this is what it looks like. It came in a couple of different colors and it has little pockets on the side. What makes it anti-theft is you open it, let me get the straps out of the way, this way. So it makes it hard <laughs> for anyone to reach into your backpack because you have to unzip it like this. Um, and it's small, which I think is a perfect size for traveling. As you'll see in this haul, I have several options for when we go and then I can let my daughter look at them or if her friend wants to use some, we have a few options. So I did. I also picked up this little backpack purse. It looks like a backpack, but it's actually a purse. It comes with a long strap and it comes with this little wristlet inside. I love that it's pink because, you know, I love pink. <laughs> Hang on, let me unzip it. It got squished during shipping. There we go. So it has this little front pocket here, and then it has this opening here, and a long strap. So even if I don't use this on our trip, I definitely have uses for this because it's small and every now and then I just want a small purse to take somewhere and not a giant one. And as I said, my daughter and I both actually are obsessed with purses. She won't use this one because it's pink, so I know it's mine. <laughs> Next I picked up these shoes. They're called Women's Knitted Sports Shoes. They came in several colors, but I got black 
because if I'm walking around streets of Edinburgh and London, I'm probably going to want shoes where the dirt isn't going to show as much. I really like the pinky purple color they had, but I went ahead and got black. I'm going to try these on. I think I got, I wear a nine and a half, but I did go ahead and order these in a 10. So let me try them on and I'll let you know what I think. So this is what they look like. And I am happy that I got a size 10 in these. They fit really well. And excuse the fact that I'm wearing sweatpants, but I am at home and I wanna be comfortable. So the 10 does fit really well. So if you get these, I would probably suggest going up half a size. So they are really wide at the toe box, which is nice for me because my feet are a little on the wide side. So that's something to keep in mind if you are thinking about ordering these shoes. So next I picked up these comfy home shoes, I think they were called on the website. I got a 10 and a half to an 11 uh, in case they're small. So let me see. They're a little bit long, but um, not too bad. So I'm okay with the size that I picked out. I could have probably sized down. But I just picked these up for walking around the house in, not for going outside. They have a fabric bottom on them. I guess it's kind of like suede bottom. I wonder if it's slippery. Surprisingly, no, I'm walking around hardwood floor and they did not slip at all. Next, I picked up these women's outdoor snow boots. They say they are waterproof and slip resistant or skid resistant. I think this says size 43. I think I ordered these in a 10. I'm not sure. I'd have to Google that, what a 43 is. And of course I got these for winter, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try them on now and see what I think. This is what they look like on, and I did get these just for snowy winter days. They're very comfortable. I'm not slipping on the hardwood floor, so clearly I haven't tried them in snow and ice, but they're not slipping on this floor. See, I can't make them slip. And the whatever size of 43 is fits me perfectly, and I'm a nine and a half with wide feet at the top. So these fit perfectly. I do wanna say that so far with the shoes I've tried on, if you need arch support, you're going to have to put something in them. They're pretty flat, but my feet are flat, so they actually feel fine to me. Next, I picked up a couple of tote bags, and they both have cats on them, and I picked them because they're super adorable. So let me open these and show you what they look like when I unfold them. So they come very compact. But then when you unfold them, you have quite a big tote bag. And then in theory, you can fold them back up and fit them in here. I can try. <laughs> so I got this. Look at this print. I just thought this print was the cutest. And then I also got this one with kitty cats. It's the same size bag, but look at this print on here. Look at that little yawning kitty cat. I just thought it was adorable. And, you know, you can always use bags for something, right? Next, I picked up a couple of crossbody bags. Uh, these I got for me and my daughter. The pink quilted one, of course, is for me. And the green quilted one is for her. So, these have... A bigger zipper pocket here, a medium pocket, this pocket which is good for cell phones, 
and then a small front pocket. They're very soft. I like the way it feels. And then it has this nylon, is that what you call that? Whatever seat belts are made out of. That's what this is, strap on it that is adjustable. And I think that this is the one I'm going to be carrying around Edinburgh and London. Um, and maybe she'll want this one, I don't know. I don't know if she'll want to match her mom. But either way, I'm giving this to her, she'll love it. So I think if you're looking for a small crossbody, this one is pretty nice. And it does come in other colors. So then I picked up some keychains to hang off of some of the bags I picked up. So first up is this cute little pig in a raincoat. If you're new here, I love pigs. And I thought this was adorable. So I got this to hang off of one of my bags. I don't know which one yet, but it's so cute. It's a little pig in a raincoat. And I thought that was really sweet. So I got that. And then I picked up these two. They came as a set. It's a little pig drinking milk and a little pig with a purse. They're calling it a backpack, but he doesn't have on a backpack. He just has a little purse or she has a little purse. And I just thought they were so sweet. And all of these, of course, will be hanging on my bags, not my daughter's. <laughs> They're super adorable. And next I picked up two celestial keychains. I thought my daughter might like these. I got the earth and the moon, and I just think they're really cool looking. And if she doesn't want them, I do. <laughs> they're the same on the front and the back. Get them in nice and close so you can see. I think they're adorable. I also found these, and I think they are so cool. So I got a pink one. These are little clip-on watches. So I got a pink one for me. and a silver one for my daughter. Let me take them out of the bag so you can see them up close. So you just have to take this little plastic piece out. All right, my hands aren't cooperating. I did manage to get it out of the silver one and once you take that out, then the battery starts to work and it will keep time. It's just like a regular old watch. You pull this out and you can adjust the time but I'll do that later. But I thought they were so cute and I'm going to clip one off my purse and I don't know what she's gonna clip hers from but I just thought they were really cute. Cute. All right, I got the little piece out and I did wanna show you that the pink one works as well. I had to get some tweezers to help me get it out. For those of you who are new here, I have horrendous arthritis in my thumb so doing stuff like that is really hard because I can't hold on to this to pull the thing out. So anyway, I got it. <laughs> Next up, I have these women's lightweight breathable running shoes, or breathable weave running shoes, I think they were called. I picked out these because I think the color is so pretty. And let me move the box. And I love comfy shoes too, as you can tell by this haul. Um, so I went ahead and ordered these. They say fashion on them. I went ahead and ordered these in a size 10. I'm a nine and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and try these on and let you know what I think. So this is what they look like on. Again, the 10 was a really good choice for me. They're a tiny bit big, but I do think a size smaller would have been too small. And it's hard to show myself walking in shoes, but they are actually really comfortable too. Next up, I picked up a couple of shirts for my daughter. Not for me. These aren't bags or shoes, but they're shirts. <laughs> And the first one I got, now I did not know what size to get. So in this one, I picked up an extra large and it says, it's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. Because if you don't know, she's in vet school right now and she's stressed. <laughs> so I thought she would find this funny. And again, I'm gonna take this to her when I go in June. I keep wanting to say July, but we come home in July. So <laughs> I'm gonna take this to her in June. I just thought it was really adorable. And then the other shirt I got her is just really pretty. She loves green. And I'm trying to see what size I got it in. I got this one in an X, 
a 2x but it really doesn't look like a 2x so I'm glad I got the 2x but I thought she would like this shirt it's green which is her favorite color it has these really pretty wood like buttons or wood toned buttons and it has some I don't know anything about clothes but it has some of this stuff up here and it's really flowy so I did pick up these two shirts for her Next, I did get us both a pair of these. They're called Hollow Out Closed Toe Slides. So I got a pair for me in gray. This is what they look like. These are size 41. I don't remember what that equals. So that it was actually a perfect size. Perfect, they fit my feet actually perfectly, so. Definitely that was a good idea. And then my daughter only wears a seven and a half. She has little feet. <laughs> and what did I get her? A 39. So I'm hoping these fit her. They're actually, I'm like walking around in them. They're super, super comfy. I really, really love these shoes. They're so comfy. I hope my daughter loves them as much as I do. So I just got her the black pair, me a gray pair, and I'm pretty sure they come, came in other colors, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. And I am going to keep these on for the rest of this video. Next, I picked up this travel toiletry pouch. I already have one and my daughter already has one, but I got this one for her friend. Um, hold on, let me open it up. These are so great to have. And what I really love about it, let me unzip it here. Oh, this is nice, it Velcros. But what's really nice is this hanger. You can just hang it on the towel, oops. I hit the camera, uh, the tripod. You can just hang it on the towel rack and it's great. So you have compartments for, they're showing toothpaste, toothpaste and toothbrush here. And then it has this zippered compartment for anything else you might wanna take with you. There's another little zipper compartment right here. Except I zipped it instead of unzipping it. But these are so handy to have. And I actually didn't ask her if she has one, but I'm going to see her in two days. I'm going to take it and give it to her. And if she doesn't like the pattern, she can just use it for this one trip and either give it back or pass it on to a friend. But honestly, the pattern on these things doesn't really matter to me. They're just so handy to have. Okay, guys, remember the safety backpack I showed you? I forgot that I got two of them in case my daughter wanted one. So, or her friend, either one can use them or have them. But this is it, the same thing in black. And it opens on the back or in the back so that people can't steal your stuff. And it comes with a strap. I thought this one would be really good for walking around, you know, cities. So people can't get, oops, so people can't easily get in your backpack and steal your stuff. The next item I picked up is something I really need because I am not very organized. This is a purse organizer. Let me open it. Okay, so what this is used for, well, you can use it for lots of different things, but what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to put my essentials in here. So things that have to be in my purse all the time, or I really want to be in my purse all the time. So that way when I switch purses, I just take this out and put it in another purse so that I don't forget anything important when I'm switching from one purse to the next. I picked up something else for my daughter. I got her some socks and in this pack you get, okay, so I was interrupted, but you get 10 pairs of socks. My daughter likes these. Uh, no-show socks I do not because they slide down on my shoes and they drive me crazy but she loves them so I picked up this pack where you get 10 pairs five of each gray and, and then the last two items have to be my all-time favorite although I'm still wearing those shoes and I am loving them but these <laughs> these are pretty awesome these are called solid color rubber beach bags or something like that on the website. Let me back it up so you can see it. This is the medium size one in pink and it has these rubberized handles 
and it's pretty big, the medium one. That's what it looks like on the bottom. It reminds me of a tire. Amazing, I love it. But then I also got the large one. And this is huge. Let me get the medium one back. I don't know if you can actually see how big this one is on camera but it's huge and I love it. And I got it in this pretty light blue color. I think I wanna get one in pink too. I just thought it was so practical and I have a million uses for them, but groceries in my car so they don't roll around is one of those uses. I have a net for my SUV, but it doesn't really hold that much. But yeah, I am so excited to use these. Let me know down in the comments what you guys, other than the beach, cause I know you know, they're perfect for the beach. What else would you use these bags for? I definitely love these and I, I really love that big one. Okay, so that's everything I got this time around in a pretty amazing $200 Timu haul. So like I said in the beginning, I do have a 30% off discount code for all new users and I will put it across the screen right now so make sure if it's your first time using Timu that you use my code so you get 30% off your order. I'll also have a link directly to Timu. It is not an affiliate link, just so you know. It's just a regular old link. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below which of these is your favorite item and if you have any great ideas for these rubberized tote bags or rubber tote bags. There has to be some stuff out there I haven't thought of to use them for, so let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching.